uh, if that has been a good thing and how's it looking towards the future? Um, I, I personally, I like it. Um, it, you know, it's done a lot to bring the schools in Florida to play against each other for the last, um, you know, for the last four years prior, this is my fifth season with FIU, so the prior four years, we, um, we never got to play UF. So like now having UF in the conference, it allows us to play UF. Um, it also gives us uh, like crossover games where we are, we're, have a smaller conference. So the South teams play home and away, and then we'll play two um, two teams from the North. Which means that traveling is a lot less for us, and especially you know for some of the Florida schools that don't have the funding, like some of the bigger colleges, it's much more affordable for us to just travel to Boca and you know, uh, to um, to UM or whatever, wherever we're going to play. Um, the other thing is that I think there was a, a lot of separation when it came to the Florida schools when we were in Cirque. We were close, but we weren't really, um, we weren't as close as we as we would think we would be. Um, and now playing in the Florida Conference, a lot of the players get to see each other a lot more and you, you start seeing a, a different sort of, um, like a different sort of, camaraderie between the teams and coaches the the, the the playoff system is a little bit weird to you know to put it somewhere right because I as I recall last year UCF advanced to the national pathway and then so they the championship ended they went to play on I think the following week right yeah and then the next week they came back and they played for the Florida title yeah it's yeah, it's and it, it's it's difficult because of the time frame that we're trying to get. Um, well, the, 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 that the union tries to put our play our play system or our tournament system. The thing is that as long as you know who those champions are, it doesn't matter. They can advance mm -hmm. and then come back and play for the state championship. Um, it's just it's always dependent on where USA Rugby puts their playoffs and when they what dates they set because they don't put it out until really late. So we've already had our schedule set out, and then USA Rugby. Don't you think we could maybe have part of the season in the in the fall, um, and not put it all because the the spring season is like nonstop. I think you have one yeah. week. Yeah, we have off. one one week off, and then a spring the spring break. Um, yeah, it you know, I, I I would think that it would work well. The only problem is a lot of a lot of teams you tend to like tail like and it happens with us at FIU where we have a, a good group of, of players that are um, fall players oh. and then it kind of off and we have December grads and now all of a sudden they're not here in January so you would end up having to have players that didn't play in the first part of the season or played in the first part of the season and not playing the second part of the season so it's it kind of it kind of works out well but then at the same time it doesn't how is the season looking for FIU uh, I, know, I, I, I know last year was not very good because you were like in a re we were rebuilding yeah rebuilding, right yeah. you get into those cycles and yeah we our last two years uh, the, the, uh, last year and and this year we're, are going to be pretty big recycling I mean uh, rebuilding years um, we we lost a good set of seniors uh, the year before, and then this year we lost another good set of seniors. So right over there. Yeah. <laughs> I think this year we're gonna we're gonna be okay. I, we have a huge recruiting class, so this is gonna be my first year there that we have um, like our largest amount of freshmen. Um, so this it'll be interesting. There, a lot of the freshmen, which, which are great, they're coming from local teams. So like we have um, we have. Uh, we have two from Okapi, and um, we have about four from Key Biscayne, three or four from Key that's Biscayne. Good, good. So it's, you know, we're we're pulling in the local uh, uh, the local kids, and and um, they have they have some back they uh, some experience and background in rugby, so that kind of helps out. But it, it should be interesting. I, I think it'll be a it'll be a good year for, you know, for the freshmen at least. <laughs> okay, and as far as you know, the other teams, how how is it looking? Is it going to be like a competitive championship or...? Yeah, I, th I think so. I think it's, it's going to be interesting because... Um, and I, I always think that the Sevens, you know, our Sevens tournaments kind of like lay a groundwork and kind of let us know where some of those some of those teams are going to... what they're going to look like coming into 15s. And I thought FAU had a, a strong... Um, a strong sevens 
this summer, I mean, uh, this uh, fall, and I think USF, who ended up winning, yeah. they looked great, and they looked, they seemed to have numbers because they were putting out two teams, so I think they'll be strong again. Um, and, I know other teams are rebuilding. And, and just for the record, USF is the current champion. Yes, yes they, they are. They beat UCF last year mm -hmm. uh, and became the champions. Yeah. So, okay. Um, Thank you very much. Just a last question. Did, did your team win, win in the World Cup? Oh, man. They didn't? <laughs> no, they didn't. I picked they the didn't. winner from day one. <laughs> didn't, but I, the, I, my second pick won. So okay. I'm all right with that. Thank you very much, Ronnie. Uh, thank you, Charlie. And good thank luck you. in the season. Uh, okay? thank, thank you Bye. very much.